Alright guys, on my Chromebook, I'm going to be showing you guys how to code on Scratch. Well, kind of. I'll show you what I mean. So here's my Chromebook. This is my school Chromebook, actually. So this is something possible at school. So I already have one for Scratch in my bookmarks bar. I suggest you add one. But just in case you're doing it for the first time, I'm just going to type in Scratch. And you should see scratch mint.edda. So, oh crap. It's so blurry. Focus, okay. So I'm just gonna go to scratch imagine program share. So this will load in. Now if you don't have an account, I suggest you make one so you can save your progress. Um, I have an account, but if you ever need one, you can click join scratch. But for this video's sake, I'm just going to sign up with the account I have, so. Oh, crud. Go. So, I'm going to sign in real quick. So that's my, oh wait. Also, I use my school email whenever I made this account, so you won't see any of my stuff on here. But I do have a main account where I think I'm going to start uploading games now, so that way you know you guys can play my games. Okay, I got that right. Yep, I mistyped. I thought I missed it. But... Well, that's why. Alright, so now I'm logged in on my account, which you will see up here whenever you log in or sign up. And you if you are using if you're not using your school account, it will say confirm your email so that way you know you can share. I'm not gonna do that because I have to wait until like middle school to actually have permission to do it. As you can see, you can scroll down, they got like all these featured things, they got studios. But this is not what we're looking for. So you can eat, so if you're like me, you probably have made a game. You can go to my, you click on your profile, go to my stuff. All right. So in here, you can see all of your projects. I have 64 projects. And then I also have trash projects. Um, I have no studios yet because, you know, I can't, I don't have, I haven't confirmed my email yet. So let's go through some, let me go through some stuff like this. So this is called a Call of Duty I made. So I'll load, we'll let this load up. So over here you'll see the name. You'll see the, uh, this thing. So now we're going to click full screen. So this is basically Call of Duty MW3, which is a really good game by the way. And here's how it works. So I'll just show you guys this game. This is just a preview game. So you can cl click create a pl class. And you can set the, your weapons for either player one or set for player two. Of course, we're going to use player one first. So let's say for player one, we want to use the assault rifle with the this thing. I, I'll, I'll actually do, I do, um, I will do a video. On Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, I mean MW3, I don't know what you want to call it. So then for player 2, say they, and you can play this with a friend actually. So if you, let's say your friend wants like, I don't know, a P90 with a pis, with a Magnum, a pistol. Uh, just add that in, go to multiplayer. And so now, player 1 is this, and if you search up, call, if you search up Call of, you'll see this game. But I re, I've made my own version of it. There's a one kind of related to this. Um, so yeah, you can go around and just shoot your team, your enemies. So yeah, it's just a simple little Call of Duty game. I think it was a pretty simple project. Um, it was really easy. It was really hard to make, honestly. Some parts were easy, some parts were hard. But anyways, that is the uh, Call of Duty. But that's not what we're on here for. So we're gonna go over, so you can either click create up here, or you can go to your profile, click my stuff. 
Now, in this area, you'll see this might blow up. Okay, let me click the X real quick. There's another create button up here, but I'm going, but there's also new project here and new studio if you confirmed your email. Um, I'll just, so you'll click either create or new project. I'll just click new project. And this is how you're going to be able to make your games. So I'm going to show you guys some simple coding. Um, and actually while we're here, I will show you guys something. I'm going to go to my... So guys, you're not going to believe this. Three, two, one. We had 190 subscribers, guys. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We hit a hundred, we're at 190, but you can see my Discord up here, guys. Make sure to join the Discord. I have my Twitch, my Patreon, my TikTok. So go check all that stuff out. Uh, also, I, in my playlist bar, I did add a new playlist. I call it diary of a gunsmith guy also you will see some like some of these things are things i already have but they're not published on you guys so anyways let's go back to scratch now so over here you can see your scratch cat. this is the scratch cat as everyone knows him so if you guys have done scratch before uh you'll probably know how to do this stuff it's really easy if you have not if you've never done scratch if you've done like scratch jr it's really easy guys it's a lot easier than javascript which I, if you guys don't know what javascript is it's basically, let me make an example. It's a bunch of like numbers and symbols and stuff like that. But that's not what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing scratch, block code. This is called block coding. So anyways, let's say you don't want scratch cat. For the sake of this video, I will show how you can. So if you've played this, you can go to other games. You can drag in their sprites. And so you can see right here. I have sounds, I have uh, costumes, um, I have a lot of sprites, I have this sprite, I got Mario, so there's a lot of sprites in here, however, we're not going to mess around with these, my backpack, because a lot of people don't have that, and you don't need them, if you want, you can, if you don't want to go do, look around and all that, just click choose a sprite, or you can paint one, I'm going to pick one, so, You'll see this little thing. It will say choose a sprite at the top right here, obviously. So now you can go through all the sprites. Uh, some are animated, like, let's see. Every walk. Every walk is kind of. Andy is. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Abby. The point is, basically, there's a lot of animated stuff. And here's the point. We're going to pick something. So let's say. Oh. Uh, for my character, I'll do, let's see, do we have a walking, I just not, I want to find a walking pose. Alright, we'll use dog 2 for this one, I know, yeah, a lot of the characters are childish, but then again, Scratch is made for children, <laughs> it's appropriate for children. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make some simple coding for our dog character. And I will do part twos, guys. But we're just going to... For now, we're just going to set up movement. And who knows, guys. Maybe if we finish all the parts, then maybe we can make this one of the best... We can actually finish it, and I can post it to the public. Well, I'll try at least. So you're going to want to get four of the when block, when um, key pressed. So these will all say... Um, uh, space you want to click you want to do up arrow down arrow you want left arrow i mean right arrow because that's what shows up next and you want your left arrow all of these keys will be very important for moving so move these down a little so here's the thing we're gonna have a so when that key is pressed it will then, and this will go in a loop. So we're going to have, uh, we're gonna, actually, no. So you want to go to change your, uh, change. So whenever you're trying to go up, you want to click change Y by, 
So we'll take a change Y by, and you're also going to need that in the um, down arrow area. So now we have two change Y by. So in the up arrow, you can keep it at 10 if you want. And then for the down arrow, you're going to set that to, you're going to click this. So now it's negative 10. So that is how, whenever we start, Now we can get them to move up, or we can get them to we move get them to move up, or we can get them to move down. So that's just how to make them move up and down. Obviously, that's not you know very satisfying, I guess you could say. And you might also want to do something real quick. Go to events, click the when green flag, whenever flag is clicked. You want to go down. You want to go back up to motion, and you want to click. Um, you'll see one that says set X go to x and then go to y so we're going to set both of these to zero so that way whenever they start they're in the very middle of the screen so now whenever we click the green flag boom now he's in the middle of the screen and now we can work on the other arrows and we will there is a way to make movement smoother but just because we don't want this video to be too long so now next part this part's pretty easy but there are some tricks I like. So first you want to, for the left arrow, you're going to want to um, get, wait, well, actually, all right. For the left arrow and the right arrow, you want to grab the move 10 steps block. And so for the right arrow, you can keep it at 10 steps. For the left arrow, you want to make it negative 10. And then here's the cool trick with the left. Since we don't really want them to face it the same way, we're gonna go to costumes. And now you don't have to do this, but I will. Oh, also, we wanna make it to whenever you click left arrow, it will, um, oh wait, that's in looks. So you wanna go down to looks and click next costume. So every time we click left arrow now, He starts walking. Hey, he's moonwalking. <laughs> so basically, we're just gonna do that. Um, so now, here's what you can do you can take this and you're gonna duplicate this. For this one, you're gonna wanna duplicate this. For this one, you're gonna wanna duplicate. Duplicate. So you want it to be A. So this one is dog to A. So for A, we're gonna keep it how it is. For dog A2 though, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna wanna, do. You're gonna wanna dr drag this around the whole dog. You wanna take this. And actually, no, I just remember, you can click flip horizontal. So now you're gonna skip one, click flip horizontal. You're gonna, do, you're gonna skip one, flip horizontal. So now you can have them face the other way. So whenever you click right, it's you're do this. Uh, so we'll go A2. And go with B2. And then C2. Now, if we did this correctly. Okay. You're going to want to set this to, you're going to get two wait one, wait one second spot. So you're going to drag the weight in between dog A2. And you're going to drag another one in between dog B2 and dog C2. So now you're going to set this to 0 0.1. And for the second one, you're going to set it to the same amount of time, 0 0.1. So now whenever you click left, and actually I think we're just gonna get that out of here. So I'm gonna try something. And we got rid of the dog C2 cause we don't really need it. All right.
Okay, maybe we do need to wait one second block. Alright, so now, see how they say A2 if you didn't change your name? Well, now we're going to take those exact same blocks, except now they're not going to have the 2 at it, the end. But that's for the right arrow. So here's what you can do instead of having to do all this code. So drag this. Take the 10 steps out for just one second. Oh, wait, no. I'll click this. Are you going to click it? You're going to click. Oh, wait, no. You go to the custom one. You click duplicate. Now you put it right here. You put the negative 10 block back on the left arrow. You put the right, and then you put the normal 10 onto the right arrow. Now here's what you gotta do. On right arrow, you wanna change it to A, and um, like just the dog to A, instead of dog to A2, and then for instead of dog to B2, you wanna select, it, select dog to B. So now, whenever you play, he'll face this way whenever he walks, He'll face this way whenever he walks right. He'll face this way when he walks this way. <laughs> and that's how you make your the dog move. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to keep seeing these scratch tutorials, make sure to like this video. And I will continue them. See you guys in the next one.